women get turned on by these type of men and cannot resist them. I made this thumbnail last night. So I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. First of all, put a like on this video. I want you guys to understand. We are a family. Two reasons why you should like this video. We are a family. The more that I grow, the more that you grow. You understand what I'm saying? Number two. A more important reason why you should love and like this video and share it is because we're going through a crisis with a lot of weak men out here. And we need these men to get a lot stronger. So by just hitting the like button, it's free. You're making men a lot stronger. If you really want to make them a lot stronger, then share it. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, long story short, let's get straight into the video, which y'all came here for. Whatever you learn about women that's soft, you got to reprogram it. That's the problem. So this video may seem a little evil, but it's not. I don't have nothing but peace and happiness. I just tell the truth. You know, this video may seem a little rough or harsh. I'm just telling the truth. That's not my intentions. But let's get straight up into it. Number one, you have to give your woman space. You have to give her space. And it shouldn't be hard to do. It should be easy. If you own your purpose, a woman will understand it. Is she the right woman for you? If you own your purpose, don't nothing else matter than your purpose. What's supposed to be on a man's purpose? His kids, if any. His money. His money. His money. His family. His money. His money. His money. So while you're chasing the bag, I don't care, guys, if you got a nine to five, if you're an entrepreneur or content creator, if you got to sit on the couch and scam, if you like the deal, I don't care what you care to do. As long as you coming in a lump sum of money, you're good. You're straight. You understand what I'm saying? So think about this, no matter what you're doing. That's the reason why I put it in that perspective. If you are working a nine to five, if you're on that fort lift, how can you keep texting her back every time she texts you? Every five seconds. Give it some time. Make her think maybe he's not on break yet. Make her think that uh, it don't matter what she think if you're a red pill guy. But for you guys that are kind of softer, I'm trying to cater to the Softer guys on this video. You feel what I'm saying? And give y'all strength. That's the whole point of the video. All right. Just stop jumping to her every command. That's number one. That's simple. If y'all can't get that, to summarize it. Listen. Whenever she call, text, you don't have to always answer. You don't have to always respond back within five minutes or write immediately. She will live to see another day. That will make her mind wander. And what's great about this information I'm giving y'all. you never too far gone. You could have been a beta male or simp. Every day. For four years. And you could switch up on her today. And it didn't even work out better. And have her guess like whoa. Whoa. But think about it. If you've been simping for four whole years. It's going to be a little rough at the beginning when you try to switch up, you know. She probably going to think she can put her hands on you at this point because you're acting like a female. She probably think that she can, you know, uh, talk back to you, talk junk to you. Hey, because huh, you're acting like a female. Number two, I just came up with this one. Y'all don't see no teleprompter, no list, or nothing around me. It's coming off the top of the head because I know these things. I have five kids, three baby mothers, five kids, three baby mothers. I done had times that I had 10 girls in my rotation at one time. I'm talking about maintaining 10 girls. I mean, I'm verified. You can ask anybody in my city. That's what I'm known for. That six, six guy with the long hair that get all the money and all the women. If your name known for that, you're going to attract. More pussy than a woman can attract dick any day. 
I know y'all got a program in your mind. Women got way more options than men. No, women got way more options than beta males. A man is winning. Man, it's more, what, what sense do that make y'all? Y'all go by anything statistics tell y'all. Who is who is adding these statistics? If Mr. Beast and CJ So Cool put up the same post, would you rather have $10,000 and somebody die, or would you rather not take the $10,000 and somebody random in the world live? CJ So Cool audience going to give a whole different uh, 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 poll uh, result than Mr. Beast. You understand what I'm saying? So who's to say these statistics are real? They say you get a lot more uh, women with honey than vinegar. I take vinegar any day. And I'm winning when it comes to women. I may be losing when it comes to uh, learning how to forgive a grown man. I may be losing on um, how to be nice sometimes. But when it comes to women and money, I'm winning. That's why I'm winning. You got to understand that. So that's number one. Chase the bag. <coughs> it's just that simple. We ain't editing that cough out. I smoke a lot of gas. I should be coughing, but YouTube and got script on stuff like that. So anyway, let's get back to what I was saying. I done lost my count and don't care if I lost my count. Let's just stop the count and let's just get into some real stuff. All right, so let's just go to another step. All right. You have to stop telling her all your business. I know, guys. You just have to stop telling her all your business. In most relationships, the male done told the female all his business all his homeboy business, all his other homie business. Congratulations! Everything that's good to go on in his life, he vent to her about everything that's bad. And I call this to let him see it. It hit different when you let him see it. All right. And if y'all can't tell, I'm a little sick, y'all. So y'all give a like to this video for me being sick and still making it. But I call it let it see it. I tell my boys this all the time. If you go to CDL school or you get a YouTube plaque or your video just hit 100,000 views or you just made a nice song or you just got a new job or a promotion, I know that you want to run to her. She be the first person you tell. I know this is your best friend, not just your girl. But it hit a lot different when she hears somebody else say it. I say that again. It hit a lot different when she hears somebody else say it. If she hears somebody at work, uh, school, home, the internet say, Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations. Billy just did this. Make your compliments seem effortless. See, women care about a man's future. A man future, not a man future. A man future, not his past. Men care about a woman past. Quick example. A woman is concerned about this man now finna be the governor or he finna be a successful millionaire or billionaire. She don't care about the women he slept with. She don't care if he was in prison. Uh, she don't care as long as she see potential that's having actions behind it and getting results and she think he's going to be successful. A woman don't mind a man past. She worried about his future. See, a man don't care if a woman, where she's at in life, he going off looks. A woman going off potential. A, a woman is picking a date off a provider and, and a protector and somebody she attracted to a man is picking a date off what he attracted to. That's why women pick a lot of winners and guys pick a lot of not shit women. And it make us seem like we the whores and the thoughts because we go through a lot of them. We just pick them wrong. 
and we just pick them for a difference. If you're picking something, if you out there in a field of grapes, and you out there just picking a basket full, that's what me and doing. By the time we get home, we got to throw away a lot of them because a lot of them is ripe. A lot of them ain't right. A lot of them ain't growed all the way. You got to throw them away. You can't touch them. Unless you're sick, a pedophile, a woman, she going to sit out there and pick all those grapes. She's going to bring a little basket and pick all those grapes. She may take a longer time picking those grapes. And she'll pick those grapes. And y'all, a little disclaimer. It's like a little commercial. I understand I'm talking about a woman with morals. We in 2023. Morals don't exist on OF, only fizzy. Y'all know what I'm talking about, only fizzy. I ain't finna get the money ties. If you got a girl with a OF, or you got a girl that's just a tot, remember, go type it in on YouTube or Google, TikTok, it ain't cheaters. Women cheating. Oh, man, there's a lot of cheating going on. These women ain't got the same respect, and they ain't picking. A lot of these women is grabbing these grapes like men now. You understand? That's the reason why if you search on uh, Spank Bang, you search on XX videos, or P-Hub, anything, you'll see the prettiest women with eight BBCs in their face. Come on, man. With morals? She can't hear what you're saying. She got too many dicks by her ear. How can she hear what you're saying? Now, commercial over. Back to the broadcasting. Listen. All right, what was we at? All right. This is a little secret for y'all guys. Never impress a woman when it's just her. It reminds me of what I said about let other people tell about your accomplishments. This go in the same boat. Y'all see how the broadcasting came back? All right, look. Never, ever do so. It's detrimental. Never, ever do that with a woman. Never, ever. Let me tell you why. Every time I took my woman some flowers, I did it when she was graduating. I did it while she was in the middle of work when it was the busiest. I did it when other women was around because they say things like, I've been working here for 10 years. You only been working here for a year. I never got flowers from my husband. You just a boyfriend. You're not doing it to make her say, oh, I love you. No, you're doing it to make her say, damn, I got a champ. Look at all these women going crazy. Then when you walk in, you walk in smelling good, looking good. That brings me to the next step. Smell good, look good. Y'all, hold up, man. Don't let me hold you. This is very important. Gucci guilty. They not paying me. I got Burberry over there. You understand what I'm telling you? Uh, not only that, you know, that's just to make your clothes smell good. You know, spray a little bit on the wrist. Y'all can tell I'm using the heck out of this. This scented men lotion. You understand? Let your skin smell good. That's not it. Y'all know women love beards? Come on, wait a minute. Hold on now. They ain't paying me for this. Women love beards? Come on, this to make your beard smell good. So now, so now, you're telling me that your beard smell good, your skin smell good, your clothes smell good. That's going to make her go down on you. And you got your balls smelling good, nut rub. You smelling good. You looking good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Listen, man. Come on. You looking good, man. You looking good. All the women want you that walk in there, but they won't tell her, but she can tell the way they talking. Oh, old Megan got a little bit too excited when you walked in. All that, man, all that. You're not doing this for her all or the waste your money. 
You doing this because you finna get you a honey and not the back out her ass that night. Oh, she gonna give you some pussy that night. I don't care if you gotta get a babysitter. I don't care if she gotta get a babysitter. I don't care if she got to run to you or talk to you. She gonna make sure she get to you that, that day. That day. I promise you. Because she just that hot. She cannot take it. I swear to God. So never impress a woman by herself or you just wasting your money and your time. And looking like a beta male. Alright. Another step. Money. If your girl has more money than you, she probably not going to respect you or submit to you if she know it. Some guys, you might just need to fake it till you make it. Or tell her, I'm the man. I ain't know what to do to this. I know what to do with this money. Invest some of this money into me. And if you got three thousand, she'll give up three thousand. Is she the right woman? If you the right man with the right plan, you know, uh, you know, uh, and these for women with morals. A uh, woman without morals ain't gonna give you nothing. Um, and we're gonna end this video in just a second, you know, because if y'all want a part three, it gets even better. If y'all want a part three, five hundred likes. 50,000 views. So y'all might as well go ahead and like, like now. Like I said, it make me a stronger. And I'm going to leave y'all with uh, one last thing before I exit out this video. If you want her to be very, 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 very irresistible. Um, and I said, and I stated that wrong. If you want to become irresistible to her and have her obsessed with you. I like to give y'all, you know, a secret, the best for last. I gave y'all some heavy stuff, man, some heavy stuff. Um, it's not your typical everyday dating advice. Don't eat a pussy. Don't kiss her while y'all smash. Do that for a little while. If you've been doing, if you've been doing that, eating her, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, kissing and stuff, switch it up. Get real rough on them. Consensual now, consensual. Y'all know how women is these days, you know, but consensually, you know. And don't let her initiate it. Be a man when it comes to sex. You know, a lot of y'all have sex with y'all girl because she come up and grab your joint first and she grab your balls and she takes you first. Nah, just stop, just stop, uh, going with the flow and create a plan see to make her come the right way it starts off a day or two early you know you tell her she beautiful and it turns her on because other guys tell her she's she beautiful even if your girl you don't really tell her that you understand so you tell her she's beautiful the next day you know you switch it up on her you don't really talk to her then the day after that Tell her you miss her and send her a text like, especially if she yours, I want to fuck the shit out you. That ass is too fat. I'm just thinking about the last time. Bro, she is going to cub or you go cub and both of y'all go cub after y'all cub. No, no, no BS. And I got to take some medicine, man. I'm sick. But y'all like, comment, subscribe on this video. And I want to leave y'all with one last thing before I go. A woman can care less about a man past. Not meaning just the females he slept with. I had one of my guys tell me the other day. His girlfriend forgot about he graduated. She forgot about he completed this. She forgot about he completed that. And she forgot about this and that. And he was talking about something that was 10, 15 years ago. A woman don't care what you did. If you did all of that, all she care about is where the money at. Why is your ass broke? 
Why don't you have a car? Why are you staying at your parents' house? Why are you fucking broke, man? We don't care about what you did. We care about your future. What are you doing now? Or what have you, what, what you got planned to do? Or what are you doing in the future? So you're wasting your time by bragging to a female about your past. You're wasting your time, uh, you know, steady, 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 hitting her up, steady, steady, responding back. What's the difference? Responding back fast to answer every calls. Good God. You that unbusy? You that low value of a male that you that unbusy? You catch everyone, don't you? You catch everyone. I promise you guys, I promise you, I promise you, if you're not doing these things, then your girl is cheating. If you're not doing these things, you might as well go ahead and buy you a poodle and die alone. If you're not doing these things, then you're whack. Now, I'm sorry to tell you guys, I really did not know it was that many soft beta males out here. You guys remind me of women. Yes, I'm going in on y'all because y'all deserve me to go in on y'all. Y'all remind me of women. We the only culture, only black men, the only culture that have to be so nice to our women because we don't want them to embarrass us. Think about an Indian, a Chinese man. Think about a white man. Think about any other ethnicity that you could think of. A Jewish man telling this woman, "Hush, baby, this ain't the time for that." Now stop. And she said, "You sh nigga, you motherfucker." That don't even make sense. With a black man, that's the normal. But y'all put these women in these masculine states, and y'all expect them to be feminine. No, man, no. They the ones getting up going to work. You on the couch. You understand what I'm saying? You the one <laughs> that's on the couch. So why should she respect you? She the one at the barbershop. You with the homies. She at the barbershop with the boy, with the son, huh? Nah? She at the basketball games, man. When I go to the barbershop, it's mostly moms. When I go to the basketball, football games and stuff... It's just moms. It's like the dads, like at Bono's. You don't see them no more. You see them once and you don't see them no more. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. And to leave y'all with two little stories right quick. Story number one. A guy told me that he had brought a girl to a family reunion. And she was full-blooded Indian. He flew her from India. She pulled him to the corner when she saw um, several black guys walking in with their kids, playing with their kids. And she said, hold on, in my country, you know, they say that black men, she wasn't being racist. She was just, how could she be racist if she came down here for a black man? So don't y'all let that go over your head. She was just telling y'all her culture. She said, black men, we was told that they sit on the video game while the woman do all the work and she take care of the kids. But my people would be shocked to see these men with their kids. That's what other countries think about the black men, African Americans in the U.S., Come on, man. So y'all should like this video for they won't think that way. Number two, I done had not one, two, but three subscribers told me that they went to Korea, right? They said the women catered to them. Treated them like they were G-O-D, like they were God. But we nowhere near God, but you know what I mean. I hate when people say, we gods. Man, there's only one God, man. We just his greatest creation. We just as good. But we're not gods. There's only one God. Shouts out to God, you know. Um, but uh, 
three guys went to Korea. And I'm finna end the video. Three guys went to Korea. They said the women would get him a, a massage every day without asking. Um, man, it ain't what she want to eat. Every day is what you want to eat. Uh, without even saying a word about it, man. Uh, your bath water ran. Man, they treat you like a man. Make you feel like a man. You feel love and submissive if, that you never felt before. The reason why they used to men being men and they being women. Now, y'all putting women in these masculine states, especially in the black community. And y'all expect them to be feminine? How can they survive? If you put a guy that's feminine in a jail cell or a prison cell with all alpha male aggressive guys, they're going to tear him apart. Same thing with this world with women. If they have to take on a masculine role, the world will tear them apart. They got tired of going to AutoZone and going to the going to get their car fixed and getting charged more. Or somebody telling them if you suck them off or give them a kiss or let them take a picture of it or something. You know, they got tired of that, so they started standing on it. I got the money just like he got the money. You can't shit me. Google told me this. I know this. You feel what I'm saying? They got to be a little tougher. I'm telling you. Look at Dirk in India. I hope they get back together. You feel what I'm saying? But whenever he went to the door, pop, 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 she went to the door. Pop, 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 pop. Man, a woman is your helpmate. What's wrong? You guys trying to be the helper. A woman came from high real. You guys acting like we came from theirs. We are not equal. You are the man. We are not equal. You're the man. And let me be, let me be biblically correct. In God's eyes, we all equal. But you're supposed to be doing more. So let's just keep it blunt. If your girl got more money than you, she's not going to respect you. If you answer and text every time she calls, she's not going to respect you. If you always hitting her up, all the time, she's not going to respect you. If you, uh, oh man, I promise y'all, I end the video after this. Listen, let me tell y'all something I done practice on my last three relationships. And I don't, I ain't seen the time. Well, I wasn't in some type of relationship. Man, let me tell you how I keep a woman so long and I can still do whatever the fuck I want to do. Stop having a relationship, even with your main girl on social media. I don't follow her. She always uh, uh, watching my page. Ain't that the way it's supposed to be? Men and they feelings too much. And y'all put yourself in your own feelings. If y'all go search a loyal girl page... And y'all go through all her comments, all her pictures. You will find something that'll get you in your feelings. Even if it ain't nothing like that. It could be an ex-boyfriend, her baby daddy. It could be a guy that like he got money telling her good morning. And it'll ruin your whole day. So why even take yourself through that? Why? You see the train coming. I really can care so less about other men trying to get my bitch that I don't even follow on social media. It's a fact. If a man cut off all his women, the only way he'll get some more pussy if he go out and find it. A girl can cut off all her men and go to her inbox right now and have 10 other ones at her door right now. It's a fact. But what I'm trying to tell you guys, as a high-value man, we could cut off 20 girls and have 50 at our door right now. Because my inbox look like a bad bitch inbox. Because I'm a <laughs> Okay.